is a great option to have. So we got Instagram and YouTube via Streamlabs. We don't have to go through TikTok. We don't want the TikTok to have barriers to entry for people to live stream. And uh, look at the look at the look at these horses. These are John Kearney. I've shown these before. We're in this little park where Ogden used to come through here at an angle, and they got a little playground over there. And then this is the back of this info housing they built several decades ago, and it connects to this other park. See how we're we're behind Hudson here. We'll pop out on Hudson, and there's a Buddhist temple over here, and there's a nice little park, and there's the. Um, Schmidt, is it called Schmidt? I, I, I can't even remember the second name. It's a big, long, like, German word that's on this building. But this is a nice little park. You got little pathways and lighting, and you, you go down to the chess pavilion here, and you see off in the distance, that's a, the Midwest Buddhist Center right here in Lincoln Park. What a peaceful spot. We got people walking dogs and fountains and chess tables and you can have the whole park to yourself almost, you know. Yeah, isn't that nice? Look at that. They did the nice little statues and the horses, you know, and walk the dog and lay out on the benches and go up to the check out this Buddhist temple right in Lincoln Park, Chicago. And you see the steeple of St. Michael's behind it. We 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 went to St. Michael's yesterday, so I equal opportunity I gotta Film a different faith here. Here's the Midwest Buddhist Temple. Look at that. And they got nice little gardens and grounds around them, which are gated off. It's almost like Zen gardens. If you go look through there, and if you look through here, you got some nice landscape gardens, rocks and paths and things like that. It goes it goes around it. And then there's there there's the Schmidt Building. I call it the Hansel and Gretel House. You know, it's like this timbered. It'd be Tudor if it was in England, but this was a German neighborhood, ethnically, historically. Now it's a gentrified, you know, yuppie neighborhood, which has been that way for decades. That's why people always like, you know, I feel I film Pilsen, and they said you're going to gentrify Pilsen. I'm like, I'm not trying to gentrify Pilsen. To me, P Pilsen's been a kind of constant state of gentrification for decades, and it's still not gentrified yet. So that's a good thing, not completely. And uh, they're like, why do you live in Lincoln Park? I'm like, it all here is gentrified. They don't want some country boy like me moving into Pilsen, make ruin in Pilsen. I, I'll ruin Lincoln Park because it was already ruined. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a joke, that's a joke. People in Chicago know what, you know, the Lincoln Park Trixie, maybe I was a Lincoln Park Trixie. I wanna be paying high rent here on the north side. <laughs> Some of my friends went to the University of Chicago, and, and that's how I, 